All right, listen up. Private Martin, you're on the obstacle course and doing weapons training today. Before starting the obstacle course, read each of these important signs and do what they tell you. Good. Now check your objectives. You'll notice that your current objective is highlighted. In addition, the location of your current objective is marked by the star on your compass. As you approach your current objective, the star will move toward the center of your compass. Approach your current objective. Move five paces to the left. Now five to the right. Five paces forwards. Five paces backwards. Approach your current objective. That's it. Close enough. You will notice that objective is checked off and you now have a new one. All right, Martin. Open the gate and run the obstacle course. Martin, good to see you. Move it, ladies. This is they not your, your Aunt sorry Fanny's here dance. Too, huh? Jump over him. Come on, Elder. Get the lead out. Not bad. Now hit the dirt and crawl forward under the barbed wire. Sergeant, fire up those machine guns. Those are locked around, boy. Stay low. Stay down. Find these ladders, Private. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Private Martin, proceed through that door. Sergeant Moody's gonna Eyes take you up, through Private. weapons training. I'm up here the ladies, in the observation right tower. To get more ammo, grab it from any loose weapon of the same type you are carrying. Approach the fence and fire six rounds at your target. Your accuracy will be surprised by the tightness of your crosshair. Fire six more rounds at your target, in different stances and while moving. You will be more accurate while not moving and in the crouching or prone positions. These skills could mean your life. When your magazine is empty, your weapon will reload automatically. Move on to the next area. Grab up a Springfield rifle from the table, switching it for your carbine. Turn to the left, move to the fence, and fire two rounds at your target. Now fire two rounds at your target while aiming down your sight. Alright, I hope it's clear to you that you will be more accurate while aiming down the sight. All right, Private, move on to the next area. Unless you've got three hands, you can only carry two weapons, besides your sidearm and grenade. First from the hip, then aiming down the gun. Compare your accuracy. Get used to firing both ways. Take a few steps while aiming down your sight. Slower this way. In close quarters combat, you can hit your enemy with the butt end of your weapon. This is called a melee attack. Try it with your Thompson. Don't screw around. This is for real. Throw a grenade into each of the openings before you. Rock and fire! Move behind the concrete post and lean out to the left, then the right. This will help protect you from the enemy. That's a lot of firepower there. Treat it with respect. That stuff doesn't care what it blows up. Note that a stopwatch has appeared. This will tell you how much you to get your butt out. Baker Company, listen up. This is the big one. Operation Overlord. The air and seaborne invasion of Normandy. On H hour D day, seaborne infantry will attack five beaches codenamed Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, and Sword here on the coast of Normandy. Utah and Omaha beaches will be attacked by three of our infantry divisions. 
At the same time, two British and one Canadian division will hit Gold, Juno, and Sword Beaches. The Airborne will be landing six hours before H hour, before the air and naval bombardments. The British 6th Airborne Division will be landing here. At the same time, the 101st and the 82nd Airborne will be landing in these areas. The Dews River Estuary here divides Utah and Omaha Beach. The mission of the 101st is to capture the Dews River crossings linking Utah and Omaha Beach and to protect the flanks of Utah Beach. This road here is the main highway that connects the entire Cotentin Peninsula. The Germans have troop concentrations in this region. When those troops are mobilized into a counterattack on the beaches, they'll have to move along this road. The 101st is going to make sure that doesn't happen. Baker Company, that's us, has been assigned this causeway here. The Pathfinders, like Private Martin, will be dropped ahead of the main force and will plant beacons on the ground to mark the landing zones. However, there is no telling what will happen once we're on the ground. So I want all of you to learn the objectives of every unit in both the 101st and 82nd. I also want you to study these maps and photographs until you've memorized them. We will be landing behind the Atlantic Wall, between several German garrisons. We can't expect to be relieved until at least several hours after H hour. This is what we've been training for. Good luck.
Alright guys, get set to move. On my command. Let's go, let's go!
All right, fellas. Take five, but listen up. We'll hold this place till reinforced, but this is just one tiny village in a war and country full of them, so our work has just begun. For those of you who've seen your first action, welcome to the big time. For those of you who've seen it before, trust me, you ain't seen nothing yet. We'll redeploy those German machine guns setting up a defensive perimeter. Keep your guard up and your buddies in mind. Good work. Taking a break. Johnson, go have a look. Right, Captain. We got company! Tiger moving in from the east! Behind you!
Martin, over here. Get in the car. Okay, Captain. Assuming we get back to Battalion in this rolling junkyard, what do I tell him? Hand this directly to Major Shepard. Tell him Baker Company has secured the town, but won't be able to hold it long if we don't get relieved soon. Got that, Sergeant? Oh, yes, sir, you bet. We ride through enemy lines in a French tin can. Want to paint a bullseye on it, sir? <laughs> yeah, pretty sure that won't be necessary, Sarge. So unless you've got a better idea, or a radio that works, carry on. Good luck. Oh, man, this is nuts. I can't believe we're doing this. Believe it, unless you sprout wings and want to fly. It's only six miles, Private. Just shut up and do your job.